there, Pokemon fans! Time for a different kind of video. A Pokemon Theory video! And we're talking about the poison gas Pokemon coughing and wheezing. What am I talking about with these two balloons? What if I were to tell you that these two Pokemon were created by man? Whether it be through intentional purposes such as Mewtwo, Gorluck, or Caspworm, or even created through unintentional means such as Muck and Garbodor created from the waste of humans, artificial Pokemon do exist in the world of Pokemon. So how could wheezing and coughing be artificial Pokemon? Well, let's start by looking at the original appearance. Looking at Pokemon Red and Blue, these two Pokemon appear in only one place of Kanto, the old mansion on Cinnabar Island. For those who aren't in the know, the old mansion was where the Pokemon Mewtwo was created. Granted, the games say that Mew gave birth to Mewtwo, but other source materials have shown Mewtwo being gene spliced from Mew and Mewtwo is considered an artificial Pokemon. About this time, I'm expecting people to be typing in the comments saying that coughing and wheezing appear in other regions. I like to tell you about invasive species. Invasive species are organisms that are alien to ecosystems they're found in. Most of the time, these creatures can harm other creatures and plants in the ecosystem they invade. And considering the fact that in Gen 2, that the old mansion was burned down thanks to Cinnabar Island erupting, yeah, the Pokemon would have to go somewhere else. Another reason to consider is Team Rocket. Prepare for yeah, yeah, we all know the slogan, but I'm referring to Team Rocket as a whole. Consider what they basically are. Thieves. Criminals. What would be the best companion to go when committing these crimes? Ghosts. Incorporeal beings that can go through walls, go invisible, instill fear, and can be used to counter psychic type Pokemon. Considering that in the original game there are only about three ghost Pokemon, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar, it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility that Team Rocket would want there to be more ghost Pokemon to help them with their criminal activities. So, by taking samples from Ghastly, which is possible since there's a little mass of the Pokemon since it's 95% made up of gases, Team Rocket scientists attempted to replicate the gas ghost Pokemon. This is evidenced just by looking at Coffee and Ghastly. They both have similar mouths, the teeth sticking up from their mouths, and their eyes have similar shape. And they're both listed as a gas type Pokemon. Granted, Coughing is a poison gas Pokemon, but I take that to mean that Team Rocket was unable to replicate the ghostly abilities in full. And if we follow the idea that Mewtwo was created by Team Rocket, it would be a good idea to have the only weakness to your superpowered psychic type weapon. Another point to consider is the marking on Coughing's chest, the skull and crossbone, a universal sign for dangerous chemicals created by man to show the dangerous properties of a chemical and toxin. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and if you want to see more of these, I'm on a comment and remember to examine your fandom.